And that's exactly why me and a bunch of college students are going to cut it in half. Yes. What's up, people? This is a 2007 Porsche Boxster S, and it's a very nice car. And that's exactly why me and a bunch of college students are going to cut it in half. Yes, cut it in half. I'm not kidding. We're not crazy. This is going to be the car that gets cannibalized to utilize and do the Genius Garage Fast and Furious Live like in Hypersport build in 2020. So if you are excited or are going to apply to the program, this is the car we are going to completely obliterate to make something even better. And I wanted to show it to you guys. So come on by, let's take a look at the inside first. I wanna talk about the structure and why we're gonna use this Porsche for that project. So this particular boxer I chose because one, in 2007, that was when they uprated the displacement from 3.2 liters to 3.4 liters, as well as the horsepower coming up. It also has the six-speed transaxle, which is very helpful. You wanna start with a very good basis, very good components, if you're going to build your own incredible car. Uh, the reason we're starting with a nice car and not a junk one is we actually want the nicest components possible to make something really worthwhile and really quality. Now, a Boxster and a Cayman are a relatively similar car, but the Boxster has stronger structure through the floor and the frame rails and everything like that. So in terms of building a custom coach-built car, that gives us more of an opportunity to strip this thing down to its bare components to see what we got and then utilize them in our own one-off design in uh, building a car to hang those composite panels on. But as an example, something that will be nice, the front bulkhead's where the front suspension is, coming up to the dashboard area, all of these great controls, everything like this, should not have to change spatially, which is really nice because we can stand on the basis of good engineering there. Then of course, we're going to have to elongate this chassis somewhere in the area of six inches to build the car that we're going to with that Lycan uh, Hypersport body from Fast and the Furious. Now, the hope, of course, is that none of those bulkheads have to change. And naturally, the Porsche Boxster is a mid-engine configuration, which is the same as what that uh, car would have been as a hypercar. So let's take a look at it outside, as well as in the trunks and the frunk. But naturally, you have the uh, trunk area back here, if you want to take a look at it. That's quite a nice thing. And then the motor is not easy to see. You actually have to open up the soft top, open up this compartment, and there's a compartment to see the top of the motor or service it from down below. Since of course we're going to dismantle this car and all the body panels are off and the core panels are gonna be surgically removed and build our own car using the components, all that stuff will become accessible. And as a note, this is not by any means Genius Garage just taking a car taking the body off and putting a new one on. This car is going to be cut into many small pieces and we're gonna utilize the main components to build our own car out of. So that's gonna be uh, really exciting and fun. The other thing is the Boxster of course has this wing that goes up and down. Let me see if I can actuate that for everybody. All right, where's the button? Is it working? I don't know. It didn't work, let me try this, hold on. Hopefully I don't drive it into the river accidentally right now. That'd be great YouTube. All right, here we go. Up goes the wing, come on. Hey, it's up. <laughs> All right, so the neat thing about this is Porsche already has this spoiler actuating to create a lower drag when it's on the highway. Now, for our supercar build, we may not do it in the same way, but it does have a wing to actuate. So the hope is we can utilize this same electric linear actuators in regard to what we're doing with that wing. It already has controls. We'll probably have to hack into it because the wing on the Hypersport body, you don't necessarily want that coming up at high speeds over 100 miles an hour because it's just inducing a lot of drag and acting like a parachute. So that's something you'll want for the twisties uh, at a little more reasonable speeds, but when you're going super fast, you want it to come back down. And I believe this Boxster stays up at speed, so that's gonna be something that'll be a fun project to learn. And of course, all the articulation, everything has to change, but it's nice that the basic components are something we already get with the car. As another note in looking at it, the Porsche Boxer has excellent suspension from the factory already and excellent balance to the chassis. Uh, Ed Bowling, I think, mentioned that a Boxer in a certain year beat the Ferrari Enzo's record for the slalom. So that is telling of the car's just incredible performance and engineering and why we should start with it. 
Also, if you come down here and look, this has Porsche's bigger brakes on it, which I believe are the same size and rotor and caliper from the 911. This, of course, being the rear, so they're a bit smaller, but they're very nicely vented and cross-drilled. Of course, the front multi-piston calipers with the big uh, ventilated disc brakes as well. These wheels are 19 inches, both front and rear, which on the Hypersport build, the original one had 20 inches in the rear, 19 in the front. Of course, vastly different offsets. So those are going to have to change, but they'll be nice as a bit of a roller while we'll util utilize those. And then of course, we'll probably sell the wheels when we're done with them because we'll be making custom ones for it. It's possible we'll want bigger brakes, uh, especially if you're pumping big horsepower out of it, but it's a place to start. Also the Porsche engine, being the 3.4 liter, is close to what was utilized in that car, the, uh, the so-called real one, uh, as they were 3.8 liters, so they were punched out a little bit more, but they were also a similar Porsche engine. Now I gotta find the thing here. I can never find this on camera, and I always look like a dork. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Of course, you can see the frontal aspect. You got your front and everything going on there too. But it's just gonna be exciting to take this apart and utilize that engineering, how to modify it, how to change it, how to design everything <laughs> to, uh, build the uh, build the new car and we'll put new gas struts on anything we want to have stay open but the transaction should be generally rather uh, good and to utilize but this being the 3.4 liter engine um, if we want to punch it out to 3.8 liters uh, or if we want to do forced induction whether that's turbochargers uh, single or dual or superchargers whatever we might want to do with compression uh, reciprocating you know conrods whatever that is things like that are av available and it's exciting opportunity one to connect with businesses that are already doing so students can learn engineering from them and collaborate like you would in the real world as well as all the engineering of building effectively a prototype car from the ground up and uh, working with pre-existing manufacturer type engineering and components to make an incredible car so this poor thing get, is going to get the chop so we should go for a ride and see what it's like. Come on in guys, let's go for a ride. All right, so the Boxster is a great car to start with. They Porsche produced them in great numbers, so secondhand ones can be had very reasonably. But the reasonable cost on them is not telling of the absolute unparalleled engineering that went into creating them. So it's really a spectacular place to start. Beyond that, the handling is obviously immense and it's just, it's exciting and it's fantastic. I'm really excited for being the leader of Genius Garage just to give this opportunity. Because not only is it gonna hugely impact the lives of the students and the engineering students and everybody that are part of it, they get to do that build, but everybody out there watching can, be, can learn from this experience and be inspired to build your own vehicles, your own engineering, and tackle projects. Just the opportunity to learn that things are possible if you know how to assess and look at a situation, a project, your resources, and what you can do, and then growing beyond challenges to make it happen is just a fantastic learning lesson for anybody. And with regard to students and young people, I think, I think that's the biggest thing because so many people are afraid of the unknown. They don't think it's possible that things come from some magic place. But the truth be told, great projects come from someone just like you or me. So I hope that in doing this with the students that everybody out there is inspired to do their own engineering and tackle things. Because I'll tell you the truth, I don't actually know how to do all of this and nor do the students. But what I do know is we can be successful because I've done similar projects and we've done other incredible things in Genius Garage. And that's not admitting in any way something negative or where we just don't have the expertise. That's just life. Because when you're the first person or place or team to do something, well, you're the first. Those people didn't get lucky necessarily. They just knew how to tackle a situation. They, they knew how to overcome obstacles, they knew how to solve challenges, work together as a team, and go through it all. And, and those are the best learning experiences of what Genius Garage is. So I'm frankly very much looking forward to leading and being a part of it. <laughs> but in the meantime, we got a nice box here to get back to the shop. So I should probably enjoy it a little bit. But it's a beautiful car. It's something that has great engineering in it. A very nice, well-balanced six-speed, you know, six-cylinder motor that I think we can make a heck of a lot faster. So for everyone out there that uh, hopefully is going to subscribe to this channel, I am going to keep 
making videos on the build, keeping you all updated, keep promoting the students to help launch their careers. I'm very excited about that. And I think you're gonna enjoy the ride. So I hope that you will stay tuned. And of course, if you know anybody out there that wants to be a greater part of it, or you have a business that would like to collaborate, sponsor, or even donate, we would love you to be part of our journey as well. In the meantime, I hope everybody will share this. Let's get the word out. There's still a little bit of time to apply for Genius Scratch, getting some great applications in, but uh, there's still a shot for anybody else who wants part of it. So I hope to see you guys next time. All right, I hope you guys will like, comment, and of course, subscribe. See you next time.